What's up guys, Jameis here. I want to make this quick video on three key questions to simplify, clarify, and stay the course as an entrepreneur, not to veer off course. So question number one is, what do I want? And what do I want? Questions like this really evoke the gut level response. When you answer, what do I want, a lot of times something can feel a little off. And it's important to realize that that feeling and get to know that feeling because that's your gut. It's going to help you make easy decisions, clear decisions, um, and trust yourself when maybe the logic isn't really there to back it up because your gut really knows the answer. It's not the logic writing a list of, of pros and cons or anything like that that's going to help you get through a lot of tough decisions. So that's number one with the gut. Uh, and also when you answer this question, um, it's going to be something that you're going to have mental programming that's going to that's going to tell you maybe what you should do or what you should want or what you're supposed to want. And the more you ask questions like this, the more you can get through all that BS that came in your past and your your life experiences. So you can start to get down to what you actually want and you start to move forward in a direction that is uniquely you and not from other people, other experiences, education, or anything that you had in the past. So what do I want? Number two is what do I want to do more of? How do I want to spend my time? So you know, time is our most valuable asset. We're born and we're going to die one day and we have a set amount of time. And it's it's just that time. We can't buy more time, we can't do anything to create more time. All we can do is use our time in a way that feels like we're creating more time and and really loving the time that we have, utilizing it in the best way. So this is not only hobbies that we love, but it's also creating a great balance of what we're doing for work so that we can, you know, really love what we're doing. And this can get overshadowed by our industry our colleagues, different things that are going on around us that take us away from what we really want to create in our business as entrepreneurs and then hobbies in general, right? So there might be a hobby that has nothing to do with well, anything else in your life that you currently, you know, anything in your life at all, but it's something maybe you always wanted to do, but you would never know if you don't ask these questions, right? So what do I want to do more of regarding my business? how I'm impacting people, how I'm how I'm having fun or how I'm entertaining, uh, what am I doing with friends, what do I want to spend more time on, what am I missing in my life, right? So this balance element. And it's it's very full and it's you can go off and ask a million different questions just based on that one question. Question number three is what am I best at? And basically what I want to do with this question is uh, just lay out that you have a confidence level. We're just going to create a, we're going to say everyone has a generic confidence level. And what happens when you ask yourself, what am I best at? You start to think for your business, what am, like, what am I gifted at in life? What is my purpose? So wherever your generic confidence level is, what you're gifted at or what you're passionate about, because it goes hand in hand, what you're, what you're gifted at is going to be in the same realm of with what you're passionate with. So you're going to basically take your confidence level to the next level in that arena. So that's how you know not just what am I best at, but what can I be best at, right? If that's if that's an easier question to ask to yourself. But ultimately, you know, living in that place of passion and what your gifts are, you can start to move towards that the affirmation of I am the best at this thing because it's it can start with I could be the best at this and I can I have the potential to be the best at this and then you can move towards you know your your self talk saying I am I am the best at this uh even before it's true so with that said those are three key questions uh you know to stay clear stay focused simplify things and you know really stay the course as an entrepreneur in your business and in your life uh with that said have a good night, guys. Live Vision Fit. I'm out.